our first speaker after the beer break is Jenna Malloy. Uh, Woohoo! She's got her own fan club. And besides that, she's a fine artist and cake decorator. Uh, she's originally from Jersey, but has been living in Portsmouth, New Hampshire since 2012. She attended the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. Uh, she graduated in 2010 with a Bachelor's of Fine Arts and a minor in Art History. She has worked uh, at a custom. Uh, she has worked at custom cake shops in New York and Massachusetts for the past five years, making cakes for celebrities, and even a contestant on an episode of Cake Wars. Ah! My kids were so geek out. All they watch is Cake Wars and Cupcake Wars and Pastry Wars, all that stuff. In August of uh, 2015, she decided to become an entrepreneur and developed Paints and Pans. Paints and Pans specializes in cakes for any occasion, as well as custom fine artwork. And I'm sure you can order online right after this speech. Uh, Jenna, where are you? Come on up. Warm welcome. Well, sadly, my 15 minutes of fame are up from the Food Network, but... Um, Tonight, just going to take you kind of on a journey to how I got to this place uh, where I am today. In this first slide, it has my brother and myself with my father's parents, Nona and Jay. We used to spend our summers there at their shore house in New Jersey. In the mornings, we'd go onto the lawn and pick up seashells for a nickel apiece. Uh, but I really enjoyed in the afternoons when I would get to paint with my grandmother. This is a portrait that my grandmother actually painted of me when I was younger. Uh, we, I feel like I owe a lot of my creativity and artistic ability to her. Um, we not only share a passion for painting, but also hiding hands, so we don't, aren't forced to paint them. Um, I was happy enough to talk with her a few weeks ago on her 96th birthday. This is one of the first paintings I remember doing at her shore house of her little belongings. I think I was in about middle school. Um, this was kind of really the time when my dad and my art teachers kind of um, took a look at my abilities and suggested I enroll in step art program. This is a portrait of a painting that I did during my senior year when I took AP art. My concentration was the Italian market in Philadelphia. I felt like a great connection to the area and that inspired a lot of my work that year. Uh, when it came time to decide where to go to college, I knew I wanted to go to art school and just fell in love with Pratt Institute when I went to their um, portfolio day in the fall of uh, 2005. Pratt's located in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, New York. Um, Pratt's comprised of a lot of buildings from the 1800s, this being one of them, the steam engine in the East Hall. It's actually a functional uh, part of the campus and was run by a man named Conrad for over 50 years and housed a lot of the many Pratt cats that you found roaming around the campus. This was a fun day always. Uh, the horses would come to the campus and during your foundation year um, you would sit and draw them but anyone was really welcome to take part and as you can see even the professors would participate. These are some more um, images of the land, of the environment, of the school. Uh, you had the rose garden and the sculpture garden. Um, I even have a very good friend of mine in the bottom, your bottom left-hand corners um, piece there that's been on display since 2008. It was a nice contrast from the prominent historic buildings to the like ever-changing and colorful artwork of the campus. I really appreciated Pratt allowing students to display their work and um, was really fond of the Pratt motto, be true to your work and your work will be true to you. This is a typical setting for a drawing studio. I decided to go with uh, working with a still life rather than uh, the typical nude photos. Wasn't sure of the crowd or what would be appropriate. So I couldn't go wrong with that. Um, you generally have uh, two, three hour blocks during your foundation year for drawing class. I consider myself primarily a photorealistic artist. These are some of my 
drawings here from my foundation period. Um, I wouldn't mind sitting in front of still life for hours working on it. It kind of just came naturally to me. Um, I changed my major to art and design education after being in fashion design for a year when I realized shirts, sleeves should match, they shouldn't be inside out. Decided that wasn't really going to work out for me, so I changed my major to art and design education. And this department was great. We uh, spent a year doing Saturday art school. It was uh, when on Saturdays the students from the neighborhood would come for a two-hour art class, and this was my first class ever with a group of six-year-olds going over a Klimt-inspired uh, lesson. Uh, this next represents my um, next class for Saturday Art School. It was students that were working on their portfolio to get into art high schools. They were going over exquisite corpse. Um, I was trying to teach them that art and that collaboration and chance are a big part in the art making process. And then I had to go on to student teaching. It was kind of challenging because I didn't have as many engaged and eager students to learn. So I tried to just create very fun and unique experiences for them. And then um, after graduating, as many my fellow classmates in 2010 found it hard to get a job in the arts field. Um, after some retail jobs, I finally somehow landed an internship via Craigslist for a custom cake shop in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it was a really fun and really creative experience, not only beginning getting to make really cool sculptures, but also edible and delicious ones at that. Um, it was just really great working with a group of fun and talented women. And here is where I got to really hone in on my sculpture techniques in a different way with cake. Um, this, you can see here, is about over two foot long, two foot high, excuse me, uh, wedding lighthouse cake. And this is probably my most favorite cake. Um, the head is out of Rice Krispies, and then it's covered in modeling chocolate. And then I airbrushed the whole thing and hand-painted on the tiger stripes. <laughs> That's what I really love about this job, just being able to create something that people just go, wow, that's cake. So it kind of brought me to this point now that I'm at where I've decided to create my own business where I can either help someone celebrate their pets by doing a pet portrait for them or uh, be part of their special day like the wedding cake I made for my best friend. And that's it.